Hi, this is Carl Franzen with The Verge. We're at CES 2014, checking out the new Exobionics Exoskeleton. Tell us your name. Paul Thacker. Paul, uh, great to meet you. Uh, what, what do you have here for us today? Well, I have basically a wearable robot. It's uh, Exobionics wearable exosuit. So I'm a paraplegic. Um, I have no use of my legs at all. So I, normally on a normal day, I'm cruising around in a wheelchair. But on d t days like today, I'm lucky enough to strap this baby on and I get to cruise around. How did you wind up with this, uh, with this suit? What, tell us a little bit about uh, you know, how that came to be. Well, I'm a professional snowmobiler by trade. And about just a little over three years ago, I had a training accident that left me without the use of my legs. So you know, I was fortunate enough uh, shortly thereafter to get hooked up with Exobionics. And here we are today. And what does this allow you to do, aside from the obvious of standing, walking around, what does it mean for you to be standing up and have the mobility that you lost? Well, I mean, it's, it's something that's hard to put into words. Obviously, you don't really realize the things that you, know, you take for granted until they're taken away. And the fact that we're having this conversation eye to eye and face to face, that's, you know, that was taken away. So, you know, I mean, there's, there's a list as long as, you know, this arm as this building of things that you know I get to do on a regular basis standing and you know it's just an incredible piece of technology and uh, I heard that you're uh, actually still snowboarding and you're good or excuse me snow snowmobiling and you're mistake. yeah and you're gonna be uh, uh, going to the X Games in two weeks is that right yeah the, to the 23rd through the 26th uh, I'll be competing actually the last day of Winter X this year in Aspen so um, you know X Games and ESPN are, are cool enough to have an adaptive snow cross for us guys that have you know banged ourselves up so it's a, an amazing opportunity to get to compete again obviously I did that before I got hurt and it's cool to be able to do it after and uh, they don't let uh, this into the competition unfortunately yet do they you know I've been trying to get EXO to build me a suit that I can ride my snowmobile with that we're not quite there yet you know maybe here in the near future but no not this year uh, did you ever think when you got hurt I mean that's obviously you know a really serious incident, cha life-changing incident. Did you ever think that you would be able to find a piece of technology that would allow enable you to do what you're doing here today? You know, I mean, I, I'm I'm a, a an optimist, always have been. So I never have lost hope that I'm going to be able to walk again. I I have to be careful what I wish for. Obviously, anyone in my position, when you first get hurt, your first instinct is to you know wish and pray for being able to walk again. Uh, well, that's happened now, so now I have to kind of change what I wish for, and now I, now I want to be able to walk again under my own power, and you know, hopefully this type of technology will help me get to that point. Great. Thank you so much. It's been great to talk to you, and uh, best of luck in the X Games. We'll be rooting for you. Take awesome. care.